Hello everybody and welcome to The Real Housewives Edit. My name is Elle and I'm here to talk about the two loves of my life, editing and housewives. Just a little behind the scenes, this is the second time I've shot this episode, but it's totally a find that Erica screamed at Garth. I don't necessarily love being in front of the camera. I would so much rather just be behind my computer editing and being kind of like, you know, the nerd that I am. Today we're going to be covering a scene in The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills where Lisa is unveiling and doing a tasting of her new Rena Rosé. So let's jump right into it. Let's get out of here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> It's warm up here if you want to be oh, warm. Oh, it's warm. It's warm, and there's food, and there's cookies, and it is because, warm. So sit your ass down. It I is love warm. It. I Would love you it. like another drink of any kind? I'm okay for now. Thank you. What's happening? I don't oh, like that, that I've been called a liability as a friend. I don't like that at all. I'm going to talk to Erica because she said you were a liability. Okay, wow. So the first thing that I want to talk about is just how, you know, Sutton comes right in with it. This is right after Erica and Garcelle were kind of talking to the side. In that side conversation, Garcelle actually said to Erica, should we bring in Sutton to this? And Erica was like, I don't think that right now okay. is the moment. Then they kind of walk right into this conversation and Sutton comes right out with it. I don't like that I was being called a liability. I don't like that. And so then what the editors do is they have to pick two reaction shots, one from Erica. She looks very thrown off. And then one of Garcelle who's like, oh shoot. They do that little stinger of that knife sharpening sound. And then the music comes in, dun, 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 dun. it's got sort of like, okay, something is about to go down. This is the reason why I love these shows. I love the drama and I love that they can take the editing and make the drama even more exciting than it is probably when you're just sitting there at the actual scene. Music plays such a big part of that. Music helps cue us into what's about to come and that's what they're doing here. They bring in the music strong, they have these little sound effects and they have their reaction shots. And we as the audience, we kind of sit back and go, okay, we're we're ready, let's go. I'm going to talk to Erica because she said you were a liability. And I want to know why, Me? as my friend. And just interestingly enough, they use that flashback, they put it in black and white because they really want to show that this happened beforehand. Remember that the editors only have like 42, 43 minutes to work with. They obviously could have put that footage in where Garcelle is talking to Sutton about what she's going to talk to Erica about. They could have put that in before when it actually happened, 20 minutes before. But it was the most impactful doing it as a flashback here. Very purposely, they put it in to show it as a flashback as opposed to showing it when it actually happened in the narrative. That, that, you can tell me that. Don't tell her that. So why am I a liability as a friend? Because she always has to clean up for you. She supports you through all of the stuff that you get. That's what a friend does. That's As a side note, I feel like Sutton is an editor's dream, especially with any sort of conversations because her face is so expressive in her eyes and her looks and her looks to the side and all this stuff. It's almost like cartoonish and it actually really, I'm sure, is great for the editors because they don't have to search for reactions. Is it? Yeah. Like, you know how you get, like, so there was me last year, there's Diana, there's you this year. So you get into these little spats with everybody, and she's constantly there to support you and defend you. Yeah, that's called being a friend. Why do you guys make me feel bad because I am a loyal friend? I'm Great point, Garcelle. I think this was maybe a missed opportunity in terms of editing. Not that they really missed this opportunity. I'm sure they thought about it. I think they have so many things that they wish they could flash back to, but we don't want this show to be constantly just flashing back. This is a moment where I'm just like, in my head, right? All of the flashes of Kyle and Dorit and everyone just making so many excuses for Erica under the guise of it being, you know, good friendship. I've known Erica for seven years and never once have I seen her lose her composure one never. time. So I think she's a lot, a little yeah. bump here. I would have loved to see like just a quick flashback, like a shady editor moment of a quick flashback of all the time she's been defended. But listen, we didn't have time for it. It's fine. What I'm saying is this, when you support her, when she falls out with one of us, yeah, it's you guys give her some room. You yeah. guys don't be so hard. She went and lit tip for tap for you. What does she do? The Elton thing. Harry and Lisa both came. I invited them to the Elton John gala. Okay. They came with me as my guest. 
I never got a thank you. <gasps> Lisa. Okay, wow. I mean, I obviously this didn't happen to me. It's very hard to make commentary on the way other people should feel, but every time they use this flashback as sort of the example of this terrible wrong that Sutton did to Lisa, I'm trying to find it in me to like be like, this was the worst thing ever. This is so part of Beverly Hills to like <laughs> the Beverly Hills franchise to just get stuck on these tiny little things that like really just. I was on a phone call with John Blizzard while you were on the other line with John Sessa. Anyway, I'm just going to keep going. Lisa did you wrong with the sauce, so I'm going to come in for you. It on I really and you say they're so... two different things. Wait, You've never tried to embarrass or hurt anyone through your support of her. She oh. did. Do you go on national television and, and sh hate them? Can you humiliate them? And I had no idea the capacity of hurt it was going to ensue. Upon hurt me. me. I did not. <laughs> it's so hard because I kind of agree. Like, I had no idea the capacity. It's bigger. It's bigger. Okay, let's keep going. Did not hurt me. And it hurt Harry. And it hurt Harry. There's a reason why you want to hurt me. There is. And you've got to figure okay. out why. Just from an editorial standpoint, you can see when Sutton does that little look. Do you guys remember that meme? There's like this guy where he sort of does this like look like what the heck just happened? Sutton's doing that sort of look right there and the editors could not help but put a little stinger in there. It almost sounds like a little rattlesnake shake. There is. To draw a little bit more attention. And honestly, I think they draw more attention to reactions that we are going to you know, identify with. I do think like they kind of made up at that dinner or at that lunch they had together, everything seemed fine. And now all of a sudden it's being re-brought up again as like a majorly humiliating thing. And Sutton's kind of giving that look like, I'm sorry, am I taking crazy pills here? Think about it I for five that. seconds. I don't think we need to cuss like that while you say it, because that seems angry. You're the one that's angry at me, not the opposite. So this is just a quick note just about the lighting. You guys can see they're kind of like in a horseshoe shape. Their faces are in the sun. This is all on purpose. You don't see one person with their back to the sun. Erica and Garcelle do have a little bit of more of like a side light, more of like a backlight, but it's actually really pretty. They could have closed out the circle, but no one wants their back to the sun, especially with that pretty sunlight that's coming up the hill. This is Lisa's house. So she has the best seat in the house. She has it where the lighting is actually really hitting her face a lot. Lighting is so important. I have right now windows, you know, facing my way and I have professional light. If I was facing the other direction, even with my professional lights, it just wouldn't have the same um, flaw covering effects. You can still see so many flaws. I'm fine with it. You can just tell with these women, they really, really know their lighting and especially Lisa in this scene, you'll see the sunlight continues it's a little bit inconsistent, we'll talk about it more, but you'll see that she's getting a full face of sunlight right now, which is really the most flattering light you can get. Sutton. We've talked about the forgiveness thing. Listen, we Doesn't have. sound like you've forgiven Sutton. me. I did it in a flippant moment. It's not flippant, and it's it not was. misguided and words you know, Lisa, or whatever. You're very funny because our lunch went very differently than right now. You shouldn't have done it. So I just want to point out something really quick. Um, so they have these kind of close-ups, right, of the ladies. And then they have kind of a wider shot where you have all of the glassware and like the pretty bottles and everything in the foreground with the ladies in the back. For us, we just see it and we're like, oh, it's no big deal. But honestly, that's a big camera on a slider. It's not someone going like this. <laughs> because they, no one has a steady enough hand for that. There's so much production that goes into this. I don't personally think it takes away from the reality aspect of the show. I just think it makes it look great and makes it something that we want to watch. Those wide angles there, you still feel like a fly on the wall. It still doesn't feel too polished. It doesn't feel like too produced. And then right now. You shouldn't have done it. No. You know that. You did say you were sorry. I did. And I have to move on now. Well, and I kind of knew when you had, you know, an audience. Yeah. You think I'm going to play it? No. Okay. I love that moment where she's like, our lunch went very differently. And instead of having her explain how it went differently, they just, it's like, ah, just roll the tape. You shouldn't have done it. No. You know that. You did say you were sorry. I did. And I have to move on now. And I love that the editors added in where she goes, 
Well, and they didn't need to do that. They could have just cut straight to Sutton, but I think that's so funny because very relatable, you know, when you're trying to backtrack on something and you're like, well, did I really, did I, you know, whatever, you're caught, you're caught. And that, that, that moment was very caught. Again, very relatable, whatever. New, when you had, you know. An audience? Yeah. You think I'm gonna play it? No. Yeah. I can't. <laughs> okay. And those reaction shots from Garcelle and Erica are so telling to me. Again, you guys know, I believe the editors know everything. And what's interesting about editors too is editors don't really have tons of communication or connection with the actual subjects and the actors. They usually are just at their edit bays working away. The producers and directors are on set. They're working with the people in the actual production. They are the ones that get to see all of the moments in between. They know these people better than they know themselves because they watch all of the dailies, all of the footage for everything that goes down. So I believe they kind of formulate their own opinions and they create edits with that in mind. And when Lisa says the thing like, oh, you think I would change for an audience? And then they show these two reaction shots, one of Garcelle being like, well, yeah. And then even her friend Erica kind of does the look like, yeah, you would do that. I believe that was the editors kind of giving us hints like, Actually, everyone believes she would do it differently with an audience, but you know, this just I can't it's not about me. I you can't, did it. I can't help you. You did it. Forgive me. You I did can't. it. I want you to because I do like you. You do like me. I do. I do like you. I do like you. Jesus. And I think that you are a Yikes. good. That stuff, that sort of, you know, leaving that in where she's repeating the stuff. Again, you guys, editors can take out whatever they want, but sometimes they just want to leave stuff in that sort of lets someone, you know, uh, do the dirty work <laughs> themselves and show who they really are. She's sort of imitating her accent, and like, I, I know she's had. She's had quite the wine tasting go on so far. It feels very mean girl, very high school to me. I'm getting. Having flashbacks. Ugh. You are a good person some days. And you know what? No. What you don't am I, respect what am I me. Just by say, the way, you don't respect I me. I most certainly and respect you. Don't you. I most certainly respect like me. You. I don't know why this bugs me so much, because there's still some injustice to it. It's still Sutton not being honest about why she really did it. Sutton plays dumb, but she knows exactly what she's doing. It's very, very, very frustrating. I have told you. I love those reaction shots they pick while the confessionals are going on. It's always to drive storyline forward. It's always to character develop. And so the editors aren't just picking pretty shots. They're picking those very specifically. Why do you think that they would pick those shots in particular? I'd love to hear your feedback in the comments. I have talked. You were very different at lunch. I have talked so you were nasty behind your back. You should oh, know you told that me. it is going to come you told me that hard. you did. Don't and come for me on no, national just... television with your f***ing bullshit. Sorry. You picked the wrong <laughs> I'm not thrilled with what Sutton did around the charity thing. I mean, how stupid is that? She should have kept her f***ing mouth shut. That's narcissism. That's just being narcissistic. That, I, think I think she's like even grayed out from that. <laughs> if Sutton said to me, you know what? Okay. It's very fitting to Lisa Rinna for me. Um, she says, you know, I talked so bad behind your back and I honestly feel like these were shady moments of the editors. We need a segment like shady editor moments, shady editor. You guys will come up with a name. I'm not like a name person, but there are definitely shady editor moments, even though this one is definitely disguised as a very basic, you know, flashback. She says, I ripped you apart behind your back. And then they cut to these three very, in my opinion, mild takedowns. Don't come for me on no, national just... television with your bullshit. I'm not thrilled with what Sutton did around the charity thing. That's narcissism. She's talking to Erica and Erica's like, sorry, sorry. picked the wrong. <laughs> It's giving the vibes of like, you don't mess with me, you never mess with me. But at the end of the day, it's like, it's just not that rough. And these flashbacks are kind of showing Dutton that. Dutton said to me, you know what? I did this out of spite. I wanted to hurt you because you hurt my friend Garcelle. I think I would move past it. Listen, 
I wanted to drag you. I'm going to torture you. And you apologize for it. I will be honest with you. There are times where you are infuriating, and it makes me mad when I think about it. And I want to okay. frickin' strangle you, so I will be honest about that. At lunch. And again, there. I wanted to drag you. I'm going to torture you. And you, you. apologize. You don't know what dragging is. Says, says your lace run. I'm going to says your lace run. You don't pick up oh your got to be glue and tack it back down, leave me alone. No, line. darling. The roster <laughs> got fried, mine. From an editorial standpoint, I honestly believe it's a bit shady coming from them to continue to put receipts out of what she says is dragging. Lisa just to me just isn't a villain the way maybe she wants to be. I don't I don't know. It's it's funny. When you said I talked really badly about you yes. and I'm sorry for that. I was did angry I say I was with sorry you. For yes, it? you did. Okay, so I'm sorry for it, but it happened and I feel yeah. it. And the truth is that the fact that you you talk out of both sides of your mouth. Well, so and do you. No, and I you don't. don't you. Get out of my house if you're going to. Okay. And so the editors are trying to, you know, add some sound effects and some reactions to make it seem like, ooh, Lisa's about to pop. No, and I you don't. don't you. It's just not very, for me, like believable that like something major is going to go down from her like ever. I feel like it's all very kind of surfacey, but they're trying. This is no shade on her. I just, I don't think it, it just doesn't have the weight that maybe she wants it to have. Talk like this, you should leave. The set actress in Lisa never leaves her body. It would take an exorcism to get the safe actress out. Come after me as much as you f***ing want. Now I want you guys to just look at something real quick here. Lisa has sun on her face again. So I know the sun is moving around a lot and she's got a backyard where, you know, the sun's going down. So I'm sure there's some trees blocking the sun in certain areas. But just one second ago, she had no sun on her face. This to me is a clue that maybe, possibly, they are not cutting this scene in order. I always talk to you guys about building. They have to build to make the scene and to keep us engaged, to make the scene compelling. Maybe this little conversation, uh, especially just because it does feel like just like a conversation that seems to be going round and round in circles, they are having trouble building it. And maybe this kind of more dramatic moment from Lisa came a little bit earlier in the conversation, but for TV's sake, they pushed it closer towards the end of the conversation because we need to build, we need to push that boulder up the hill to actually make it where you and I want to continue watching. And the clue is really like the sun on the face, unless there's crazy trees in her backyard, which I don't know. But do not bring up my children or my husband, period, end of story. Okay. And if you do, I will come for you till the end of days. Okay. If you come for my husband and kids, I will f***ing hunt you down! Did she come for her husband and kids? She just said something about like Harry not saying thank you. I'm like, I'm confused. Is everyone clear? Yeah, we're clear. Is that a threat or a promise? It is a yeah. fact. No kids allowed. No kids no allowed. Kids, no, no husbands. Kids. Thank you, <laughs> Garcelle. I think it would have been a really nice moment to flash back to, you know, Erica screaming at Garcelle's 13 year old son or hitting on her older married son. Am I happy that she's let her hair down and having some fun and not so guarded as she used to be? Absolutely. This is just a segment I want to call Why? Why? This is a person who constantly lets their hair down. I feel like I'm taking crazy pills when they're like, I've never seen Erica open up like this before. I've never seen her thaw out like this before. And I'm like, you guys. My kitty's like a python. Tick, tick, and gonna eat this ass like smack, smack. <laughs> Segment over. If you're not clear, ask me more questions, but I think I'm clear. You know, you can only apologize so many times. I know, I understand. And I am sorry that I humiliated you. And now we're back to that, check out the lighting again. Now it's totally shaded on Lisa's face when just one second ago she had full sunlight. This conversation taking place is definitely, you know, out of order, but no big deal. I love it, still love it. Humiliated you. Well, 100%. You've told you me- told me You tried to humiliate you. You tried to humili humiliate us, but you I'm humiliated yourself. You did not humiliate any of, either one of us. Okay. I love that little side, that little uh, reaction of Garcelle's, that tiny little eye movement. Editors are so good at picking the moments that are relatable. Like every one of us has had a friend give us that tiny little bit of side eye and uh, uh, yeah, we know exactly what it means. In my drunkenness, you did not. <laughs> I'm drunk.
but I will say it. You tried, but you didn't. Because and the reactions from this friend and from Erica, they're giving the reactions of like maybe just a little bit embarrassed for Lisa or just like maybe trying not to feed into what's going on here, but it's madness. But you didn't because you look like a fool when you did it. You humiliated yourself and me, Harry, and the charity tenfold. So get ready. Okay. So now the reactions that they're picking, because Lisa is talking all over the place right now. First she said, On national television and she ate them. And humiliate them. And then she's saying, You did not humiliate any of, either one of us. Okay. And now she's saying again, You humiliated yourself and me, Harry, and the charity. And everyone's reaction shots are like, Wait, I'm so confused. Anytime something is going on that is confusing to the audience, they have to anchor with someone in the scene. There's always going to be some sort of voice of reason who is sitting in as us. If everyone on the screen is acting crazy, we feel more and more removed as an audience member and we tend to check out. Everyone's confused by what Lisa's saying because what she's saying is honestly confusing. If they don't show that everyone or that at least one other person in there is relating to us, we're gonna start to check out whether we know it or not. Mm. Get ready for that. That is the truth. That's the truth. Next time on the I don't know if you guys saw that, but the last shot, she has that beautiful full sun on her face again, and they must have grabbed it from something else because obviously the sun doesn't move at lightning speed. <laughs> Thank you guys again so much for 300 subscribers. I honestly can't even believe it. I really started this channel thinking it would be like, I don't know, 10 people for the rest of time. Please leave a comment below and tell me a scene you would like me to cover. Literally every single person who suggested a scene, I'm going to be covering that scene. So please, if you have any scenes that you would love to see taken apart in an editorial way, I would love to hear it. Put it in the comments below. Like this video, subscribe if you are liking these videos. It really helps and until next time. I'm doing the best I can and I don't know how to do it. <laughs> Take an exorcism to get the soap actress out. It's getting out of control.